This morning, we were sent a really interesting link, and I have to express some things about it because I'm, you know, I mean, today we have a lot of people telling us we can and can't do things. It's very interesting, but at the same time, I mean, you know, your your approach on things just because you chose to do something doesn't mean everybody else has to do it. Um, for some strange reason, we, we're starting to see a lot of people lash out at people because they want to eat meat because I, I guess they, they they have their own mindset of why they don't want people to eat meat because they chose not to do so um realistically you know i i have to say that you know meat does help you think um we talked about this morning uh silk from diamond and silk she had made a comment that you know meat has zinc in it zinc helps you think so meat helps you think and we we, we had we had discussed that just probably three days ago and you know it's true i mean it has quite a few things that you do need um and i think that depending on a person's blood type it also can benefit you heavily or sometimes maybe some people don't need it as much but it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually have it because the iron is also in certain steak and and beef you know um so i, I as far as science is concerned, I mean, you could look it up. It's there. But as far as this, what we're about to talk to, the Tribunist put out something this morning about an angry vegan protester tried to stop a large man, it says a large man, from eating a burger. And it said he was having none of it. So I find that very interesting. You know, it says uh, the world has seen a large influx of activist groups all eager to save the world from one thing or another. There are even some who believe they have the right to tell others what they can and cannot eat. Perhaps it isn't the smartest idea to try to stop a large burly man who is hangry, hungry, from getting some food. But apparently a group of vegan activists didn't get that memo. It shows a picture of them, which I, I, I will put on AkadianaHamburger.com as well. So basically it shows a video, apparently, that was posted online. That showed a group of vegan ad advocates blocking people from entering a burger joint in Copenhagen. The video starts with a, a, the group chanting about how eating meat is ruining this earth because the cows are emitting methane gas. And we all know where they got that from. So a large man quickly appears in the video and tries to get past the protesters so he can eat. The group of 15 to 20 people tried to hold the man back from entering the establishment. But they must have been unaware that people who are hungry can move mountains. <laughs> A group of protesters to him is nothing more than pesky gnats. So the hungry man became irate when the group held their hands together to stop him from entering, instead of just going to another establishment. The man begins to curse at the group in a thick accent. He then plows through the meatless protesters with ease and stares down the group who are suddenly irate and he got physical with them. Not deterred, the Danish man stares down one of the protesters and gets right in his face. The protester, who looks visibly concerned for his safety, cowers down in fear, while the others in the group yell at the man to go eat his burger. And, and you can see pictures of this, and I, I, I will reiterate this on a Katie and a Hamburger. So, uh, it looks like they do have the video here as well. So, towards the end of the video, the man can be heard yelling, smash on all, your, all, all you fascists, and effing hippie, you are man. Don't know what that means. I guess he was just aggravated and angry, which I understand. I would be as well. So if you told me I couldn't eat a hamburger, we would have some probably serious issues as well. And if you choose to stand in the way of a place and you get trampled on, then, you know, you are just part of the road at that point. I would have to guess that this is what took place here. It was evident the man was not going to be stopped by enjoying a juicy burger, which I do understand completely. This isn't the first time a group of protesters tried to stop people from eating. According to, says postmillennial.com, vegans ailing with members of the LGBTQ community tried to crash the grand opening of a Chick-fil-A in Toronto, Canada by laying at the entrance. Which, I have to say, I don't eat chicken, so I do also agree with that one. Um, ironically, it did nothing to stop the droves of hungry patrons who simply walked around the protesters and continued inside to eat. But once again, I just want to make a comment, you know. You don't have the right to tell people what to eat. You really don't. Unless you're eating babies. <laughs> so I would have to think that maybe that would probably be an issue for a lot more people on both sides. Have a good day. Enjoy hamburgers every day. Enjoy beef. Katie and a hamburger. Thank you.